podcast we are the voice of hockey in the philippines and the voice of filipino hockey in the world welcome back for episode two um as we started this at episode one what we did was we started doing a video version of the podcast wherein basically it's just me talking to the mic on my video on on with, with the video camera on for those who can see me i'm waving at it um so it's been a very eventful, sort of eventful week for Filipino hockey. Um, uh, the APHL just finished last weekend. Um, it was, What I can say about the APHL is at least it happened. Um, needless to say, I, I don't think it was that great of a success. And I don't blame anybody but basically the landlord. Because the landlord pretty much ran that thing to the ground. Um, I've heard feedback from the coaches who came in from Taiwan and and and, and a friend and of course and Thailand. Uh, Lee Kit is a friend of mine. I, I heard them, and I'm pretty sure that they were not happy about you know all the stuff that they were put through, uh, especially Lee Kit, who had to come in from Thailand at the last possible like second, basically, to come and help help the kids out. And and then there's like a, a from what I know, there was sort of like this a disagreement about who's going to pay for his accommodations and all that, and all that stuff to the point that um, the the two teams that were involved in in the actual camp decided to play a a, a, a game, uh, a fundraising game, just so that he can just so they raise enough money for him to pay for his accommodation. Um, I think beforehand the organizers of this competition uh, of the organiza- of this uh, of this um, camp. Of this uh, event here, we should have done a better job of, of planning, you know, who's going to pay for accommodations before getting people to come in. And Likit um, just flew in because he thought it would be a great opportunity to to do this to do this to do this camp, which is great because actually when I saw them, the camp was really fantastic. I mean, there are a few things that he taught that were um, that that were very unique that 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 we want to that you know as as a team. We wanna, we wanna, uh, we wanna incorporate into our training as well, and to have seen that is just fantastic. Uh, sadly, I believe that APHL is a great, great opportunity for for Filipino hockey. It is just mismanaged, uh, poor. It was just managed poorly by the landlord, by the people who run the rink, the landlord's rink. I mean, think about it. They they sort of leave it up in the air as to when it's going to happen. They really don't tell you. And then like five days before, which is it's scheduled to start, what, August 25th? On the 20th, this when they finally said, oh, hey, it's happening. Uh, we still need people to come in. You know, they, did, they, did, they didn't say, they didn't give us a specific date when it was going to happen. They just said, oh, it's happening. Like five days before, as if people don't have anything else to do with their lives. You know, and and to be honest... The only team that showed up in the, in, in its entirety is the um, or the Manila or the Manila Hawks. You know these guys had or come from really well-to-do families, and you know and they can get some time off from school, and that's why they could they could they could join. All of them can join. You know the people from the Manila Saints who are the other team there did the best they could at, given the time that they had to prepare for it. You know these guys aren't you know you don't usually come from don't really aren't really as as well to do as the Hawks players. So for them to pay uh, what I believe was $160 per session uh to for for a camp, uh, you know, that's very difficult for them to come by. I mean the money is very difficult for them to save up, you know. And so considering the fact that they didn't have enough time to get that money together. You know, they really couldn't be blamed for this. You know, and if and if this was the case for the other team as well, nobody would have showed up for the APHL. Why? Because you didn't. Because the organizers who were there to run it in the Philippines did not give anybody any notice at all to prepare for the pr- prepare for the camp. Thus, 
It would have been a great opportunity if they really worked on it, but they didn't. Yet, the guy who's running the rink for the landlord is probably going to take all the credit in the world for it. And it wasn't really as, as great a success as originally hoped. You know, it's too bad because I think at this point in time, a lot of feathers were ruffled and a lot of, a lot of ties were broken. And it would have been such a great opportunity for the APHL to continue doing this every year. But let's face it, it's going to be very, very difficult. And because of what happened this year, I don't think anybody would want to come back. Um, it's sad because, in theory, this would have been a great opportunity. And, you know, and you know, let's just hope that, you know, the organizers of APHL, not the ones that are running it here in the Philippines, but the organizers in, H in the APHL abroad, We'll know, would still want to come back to the Philippines because it's such a great opportunity. Um, now, moving on, um, today is Sunday, the 4th of September, and I'd just like to report that tomorrow is opening day for the Manila Ice Hockey League. Now, it's a big deal for us because I'm, I'm an adult hockey player. I mean, there's a lot of places for kids to play. They could play each other. There's pr practically like a, a, an official game like every week. But for adults, the only place that we can play is like during practice and pick up games. And, you know, to have it in a league format, this is the only league for adults to play in. So it's really a big deal. And this is my first year in the league. It's going to be my first year. And and the league is going to happen Mondays and, and Fridays. Um, on Monday, I was told that the game will, uh, will be starting at 8.30 p.m. tomorrow night between um, the the... the, the the champions, the defending champions, RMC versus uh, Omni, Omni Shenlong, I think their name was. Um, and on Friday, it'll be the Manila Saints, my team, versus the Manila Predators at 8.30 as well. So anybody in the rink, in the landlord's rink area, uh, in the area, come by and watch us play on Monday and Friday. Or watch the other guys play as well. Come support the league, MIHL, opening, opening tomorrow. Uh, it's where the adults play, although a lot of expats are there and everything. Um, and I think that's it for the Philippine Pinoy Hockey Show for the week. I just Before we go, I just wanted to say uh, thanks to all the people who like us on Facebook and who follow all the posts and all, and, 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 um, and, who follow, and follow us on Facebook as well. Uh, please do your best to like spread the word because I think this is just for... This is not just for us, the hockey community. It's for other people who want to come into the hockey community. I'm building this to promote the sport. Speaking of which, on the blog this week, I also posted a why you should root for category. Talking about... Because, you know, it's the NBA lockout and basketball is the number one sport in the Philippines. I wrote down... I wrote down reasons why instead of basketball, you guys should just watch hockey. For one, there is no basketball. Okay? Right now, I mean, you could either watch, you could either watch Philippine basketball. You could watch PBA basketball, which is pretty much American Rec League, but NBA is not going to happen at all. And right now, nothing's happening with the negotiations, so they're going to be locked out for quite some time. My option, my, I would say, try watching hockey. It's easy to understand, you know. And because of that, I decided that I'm going to do one, and I'm, and I'm starting it already. I started. I, I was supposed to start September first, but I, I just got backlogged i'm going to do a why you should root for a preview for every team in the league and i'm going to post one every day i'm currently finishing up my anaheim ducks one because i'm doing it alphabetically i should have it posted by tomorrow so if you guys want to figure for any guys if you guys want to find an nhl team to root for this while the nba lockout is happening hopefully forever please check out the blog every day at www.pinoyhockeyshow.com or like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Pinoy Hockey Show. Um, I guess that's all I have to say about that. Um, please, you know, keep supporting us. And I thank you very much for supporting us. Uh, episode 3 next week. For now, this is me, Kendrick Tan, your host, signing off. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye now.